Following the controversial statement by Lagos State House of Assembly Speaker Mudashiro Obasa, the Labour Party chieftain Babatunde Badamoshi has condemned the proposed new property law. It was gathered that Obasa on Tuesday disclosed that the state would pass new laws for the protection of its indigents. Recall that information and you are reported that Obasa, who was elected as Speaker of Lagos Assembly for the third consecutive term, said as part of his legislative agenda there will be laws and resolutions in the areas of economy and commerce property and titles and reversal of all that are reversible to protect the interests of the indigenous obasa who hinted at some of the controversies in the build up to the 2023 elections including arguments that non-indigenous wanted to take over the state declared that lagos is a Yoruba land. According to Badamoshi, Obasa and his cohorts dispose of Lagos indigenous lands and rights to rule themselves and turn around with claims that they are protecting them. He tweeted only an Omwali at Onoriwa Oju Rolari would come up with such a stupid and insane law. Many current members of the Lagos State House of Assembly, including the Bewiri Speaker, are uh, in the aforesaid category. Hey, <laughs> oh my God! They dispossess the indigenous of their lands and the rights or to rule themselves. Then turn around to claim that they are fighting for the same indigenous. Okonbubu nioma de nibale. Okay, oh, <laughs> see how they are it, Oh my God! Mm, very strong words that Sekbadamoshi used there. Mm. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine this one? Can you can you imagine this one? Or a random is saying trash. <laughs> can you can you imagine? Well, as this woman lived in another man's state before, this is one of those idiots who never travel outside Lagos. Can Rose Vival say this uh, in Kaduna? Can you, if their government says such, what this mean is a warning that's only one should put his or her investment in one state of origin. It's like you people don't even know what the Lord is talking about. He's talking about Lagos indigenous, not about West or Yoruba. Even all the black them that are in the government in Lagos, 85% are non indigenous. It is not about Igbos. So all in, all in from uh, other southwest is you are affected even the governor and his deputy and the president are involved so don't even jubilate the third term greedy lawmaker don't start a oro borebo they say in the work like in yoga on top it is only in legal state that uh, every yoruba man or woman claims that claims state of origin thereby forgetting their own state in ocean Ogun, Ondo, even Kwara, all of them claim Lagos as their own state of origin. What happens to the original owner of Lagos state? Or oh, don't they exist anymore? This weight of Lagos has become all Yoruba weights. Please make Una no waste time. Quickly enact the law and see how it will affect the Yorubas. <laughs> Una, they play with fire. You people, we have the whole of Nigeria to contend with, not just Igbos. Wait on Sidon. Okay, some of the Yoruba agbiros who never left Lagos felt that other places are graveyards. Very ignorant sets of Sinubu slaves. I laugh at comments that mention will be an Anambra all the time. I know of some many companies in Anambra states that employ Yorubas. Anyways, I don't get time for it. We do an agri policies. Thinking of buying any land in Yoruba land, think twice. And what if every state decides to make the same law? What will happen to Yoruba that own properties in other areas? You need to first go back to your local uh, shrine that you are now proud of. Yes. In a supposed estate where the Yorubas are begging people to come and buy land, the Bale and Omoniles are under the Three, waiting for the Igbos to close markets in the evening to come and buy land. But funny enough, the Igbos have stopped buying lands and the indigents in that area are seriously disturbed because no business as usual.
that's it now that is it all the gra gra of a what is it what do they call them all the gra gra of all these uh, worry people now the place is desolate all the other companies now when they stress them they come out now who is suffering the whole thing today all I hear is property, this property that is this the only business in Lagos for the indigenous? <laughs> if you cannot say comply or uh, comply with the new Lagos rule, then go back to your dungeon because Lagos is not uh, a jungle like where you come from. Why do they prefer Lagos? Yes, reason is their land is that mud land and full of bush. <laughs> Lagos belongs to the Beneath, not even Yoruba land. That is why the ancients of all the Obas in Lagos are traceable to Edu. Well, Obas are just stated the obvious. You can recall the telephone conversation between former governor of Ogun State and the incumbent vice president Shetima on how the North and the South West we form alliance. Shetima said that the North has food produce for exports why the southwest have seaports for exports and they will annex this for the economic benefits of the north and the southwest why all why the all becomes useless or oh, it becomes useless for the southeast mm. meanwhile southwest has oil undo and lagos oil so that is their problem what is their problem Igbo, please stop investing in the west my eyes have opened to funny enough it is still you, the Yorubas, with every body that we see come and plead to Igbos to buy your land. That Igbos buy your land property, it is usually a safe decision by you, Yorubas, with even plead to buy your land. One thing is to have a land. Another thing is to have the money to develop the land. We did retrieve the governorship uh, from that Ogun state man from Ijebu descend and give it to a true legation by descent by a descent of the person of a body ball. If care is not taken, Lagos will be spoken in past tense. Just Nigeria is being spoken in the past tense today. Oh Nigeria used to be giants of Africa. Lagos will be said that it used to be a business hub. You think you are dealing with Igbos but you will end up hurting yourselves. And that is exactly the truth. Hmm. Well, only a mischievous, greedy, lazy, and envious animals will come up with such retrogressive and stupid law. It is a shame that uh, some people are so backward in thinking, yes, parading as leaders in government. Indeed, legislature does not immune anyone from primitive mindless. Southwest politicians should be very careful because if they were, they will not survive it too. Please enhance your so-called law. We are waiting to give you appropriate answer. Free the egos. No. Allow them. You say no. What do you expect from a half-baked, selfish and greed-minded people? Better repent because this world is not a permanent. Don't worry. When you people finish destroying Nigeria to your tents, O oh Israel. Have you people noticed something about this administration? that they are fond of making provocative statements that will degenerate into crisis. Erufai, don't talk your own. Now, Obasa, Wiki, don't talk your own rubbish. Asari, don't talk your own. Within how many days? <laughs> well, I pray the spirit of uh, envyness does not even make you take sniper because of uh, the eagles. Federal law will quash the Lagos satanic property law. That's it. Protests or no protest to so Unagosi said the only problem said the only problem is the useless political land grabbers get sense. I think each state's house of assembly can make law of their own seats. Nigeria must be divided as soon as possible. Is the law addressed to only Igbo's guilty conscience the worry owner? Is Badamoshi an Igbo man now? Hmm? Your speaker is just another dumb as that is why they keep returning him as speaker because they know he doesn't think. If he reverses reverse every right of property of non indigenous and each state follows suit, it is their own country. That is why you will need to put intelligent people in power. I promise you nobody in the house will discuss 
that be because they know the guy brain is under his foot. Some people shouting Igbo should go back are not serious. It is is it only Igbo who are non indigenous in Lagos? We have more than two hundred ethnic groups who own houses and buildings and houses in Lagos. So the law go bite every Nigeria and not only Igbos. You can see the hate of Igbos made them establish a law that can't even stand. Maybe they would tell senators, businessmen and others from other ethnic groups to obey this stupid law. Foolish House of Assembly members. Of course now, whether they were enact it or not, so this is a an eye opener. Nobody will be ready to buy anything again because hey, now Sarah, we go suffer. Now they go see suffer. Because that is the only business. Like somebody asks, is it the only business they do in Lagos? That is what it means.